Item Number SCP-5781 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All buildings that appeared as a result of SCP-5781 are to continue operating with discrete supervision. POI-94707 should be monitored for any further suspicious activity. Description SCP-5781 refers to an event that began on November 26, 1999, when multiple buildings spontaneously appeared on the coasts of Florida, United States over a three-day period. Bradding indicates that these buildings belong to Allen Investigations, a private detective firm which lacks any record of existence prior to the date SCP-5781 began. Following these appearances, Allen Investigations began receiving exorbitant monetary investments from residents in the area, as well as multiple corporate entities globally. Interviews of these investors show that these investments were voluntary, as all were motivated by the predictions of the company's future success, as well as the founder's charisma. Alan Gator, founder of Allen Investigation and hereafter referred to as POI-94707, has denied any suspicion of money laundering to authorities in the area, and is currently battling various legal disputes. Interview Log with POI-94707 Interview Log 3781A Date conducted March 1st, 2000 Interviewer Dr. Trevelyn Vale Interviewee POI-94707 Alan Gator Forward, throughout the interview, POI-94707 spoke with an intense lisp, as well as an accent atypical of a Floridian, in spite of his claims of being raised in the state. When asked, the subject claimed the reasoning was due to Atlantic descent. Additionally, POI-94707's physical appearance was incredibly disheveled, for reasons the subject claimed was due to his ongoing legal battles. Begin all. Good evening, Mr. Gator. POI-94707 does not respond. Vigory gestures. I assume you understand why you're here. Yes. Ego bullcrap. Rest assured, Mr. Gator, nothing here will be related to your ongoing legal trouble. We're much more interested in in certain events that have transpired recently, huh? Mainly in regards to your business, or until recently lack thereof. To my understanding, you run a private detective firm, correct? Not detective, investigator. Yes, well, simply put, your business, or even you, has no record of existence prior to the 26th of November of last year. Yes, I changed my name. I see. If you don't mind, what was your old name? Al? Al Gator? Yes. Mm, thank you, Mr. Gator. Now, about the business, would you mind sharing an explanation for its sudden appearance? Very stupid question, Doctor. It didn't exist until I started it. That's precisely the issue. There is no record of you ever starting it. I'd imagine that's where a fair share of your legal trouble is stemming from. I did, long time ago, in my home place. Humans blame me, and they never saw it. All humans are stupid. Excuse me, Mr. Gator. Humans? Uh, people! All oh, people are stupid! Okay. So you did start Allen Investigations, just not under any actual official guidelines or personnel who could have verified it for you. Yes! Note, POI-94707 refused to elaborate. The building's sudden appearances. Efficiency! 
Right. And do you have anything to say about the various investments you received from local residents and corporations alike? People like to investigate invaders. Hmm? Uh, people like investigators. <sighs> all right, that'll be all, Mr. Gator. Thank you for your time. And now, uh, closing notes. People certainly aren't investing for his charisma. I'll say that much. I wondered if he considered looking into skincare routine sometime, or even picking up a razor. Dr. Vale.